In the mountain forests of Yellowstone National Park, a threat is looming that could change this iconic landscape forever. It looks like I'm standing in this nice little uh, grove of white bark pine. It looks like a healthy green forest. Uh, you know, the foliage is nice and green, but when you uh, look a little bit closer, you start to see the really dead trees. Jesse Logan is a former ecologist with the U.S. Forest Service. He's an expert on white bark pine, an important tree species that grows in the high elevations of the greater Yellowstone ecosystem and large parts of the American West. Over on the ridge line, you can see all those red white bark pine. That's what this is going to look like next year. You know, this is going to be a brilliant red blaze of dead white bark. So what's turning the forest from healthy green to dead red? As temperatures rise, the mountain pine beetle, an insect the size of a grain of rice, has been able to survive at higher elevations and started attacking white bark pine trees that live on the cold mountain tops. So this is a gallery where the mountain pine beetle attacked, deposited eggs, the eggs uh, hatch into larvae, and the beetle has to kill the tree to successfully reproduce. So it, it's an all or none situation typically. Either the beetle wins or the tree wins, and in this case, the beetles won. Although small, the white bark's pine cones play a big role in the diet of some very large and important animals. The grizzly bear is one of the animals very much dependent on the future of white bark pine. White bark pine seeds, tiny white bark pine seeds, are the engine that drives the health of a population of four to five hundred pound grizzly bears. Wilcox says the high fat content of the seeds is particularly important for female grizzlies who rely on the nutrition they provide to sustain them through pregnancy. She also says the seeds are important for the bear's safety. If those seeds are gone, grizzly bears drop down out of the high elevation white bark pine forests and into a landscape where there are more and more people, more and more development, more and more conflicts, more and more dead bears. You don't have to be a tree hugger or a bear lover to appreciate the importance that white bark pine has for wildlife. Logan says the trees also help regulate runoff as snow melts on the mountaintops in spring and summer, preventing floods in the communities below. They also provide habitat for animals such as the Clark's nutcracker bird and the red squirrel. When I first started projecting uh, with our models that uh, white bark could be in trouble with, with uh, climate warming, I thought it might be something that my kids would see or maybe my grandchildren. I never in a minute thought I'd be standing in forests like this that are just being uh, taken apart. Scientists say the best way to prevent white bark pine forests from being ravaged is to reduce greenhouse gas pollution. You know, when people learn about where we are with global warming and the effects we're already being, beginning to see in the predictions, it, it's pretty easy to get depressed. But I'm actually very optimistic because I think that we have the know-how to change the way we produce and consume energy to get on a path to clean energy sources that aren't contributing to global warming. More immediate measures are being taken to save the white bark pine. Researchers are investigating ways to combat beetle infestations, and in early 2010, NRDC sued the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, urging the agency to list white bark pine as an endangered species and take more steps to protect it. Erica Brecky, for On Earth Magazine.